Hey y'all, I'm not really sure about this whole vlogging thing yet. Oh my gosh, look at my hair, it's ridiculous. Um, but I'm curious about it, <laughs> I'm interested in it. So I figure I would just kind of record something today about what I'm reading and you know, stuff. And then tomorrow and then the next day and then just see what happens if I like this or not. Um, we'll try it. So today is August 26th and it's about 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, so I had work, which is not very interesting. Although, I mean, for some people it is, but today it was mostly meetings and stuff. I am in charge of this big project. So um, Wednesdays, today's Wednesday, is often a like administrative day so um but I did because my first meeting this morning was later in the morning I did start a song below water um by Bethany Morrow so um I had a chance to read for a couple minutes before work started and then another exciting thing that happened today is that my new glitter markers came in. Um, so I have no idea what any of those words mean. <laughs> but um, my Posca markers, my fat Posca markers that I use sometimes, I really like. And then the Facebook ad algorithm like knows my very heart and soul. So these came up as an ad and I obviously needed them. They are thinner than my fat markers and they're a little bit glittery so that's cool um I've mostly been eating like random leftovers today I'm trying to not buy as much food <laughs> like prepared food from restaurants and junk food and stuff but it's really hard because I don't like to cook and I really like high calorie expensive food um, let's see, what else did I do today? I recorded two videos, so I'm excited about that. I'm curious if people other than me usually like change their clothes or their lipstick or their hair when they're batch recording things on one day for like multiple videos, or am I unnecessarily, um, cautious about the number of videos I have where I look exactly the same? Cause maybe nobody cares do you care <laughs> um because like i recorded one and then i changed my shirt and like did something different in my hair and like put the dark lipstick on so i don't know maybe that's dumb but the book um is about it's about two girls so far told from two different points of view. Um, one is a siren. So I don't know if you know a lot about the siren myths, but she's a teenage girl who is a siren in California. And the other girl is her best friend who pretends to be a mermaid. She's a mermaid cosplayer for her job. I'm at an aquarium or something. So what's happening in the beginning of the book and I am on page 38, and I think it's so awesome. Earlier I was looking for a um, bookmark and was just gonna stick something in, but I actually had a bookmark on the ground right in front of the couch, so that was like perfect. Anyway, what's happening in the book is that a woman has been killed, or a black woman was killed however many um, months ago, and she, you know, had been out of the uh, news media rotation for a while, but now her husband, her boyfriend who's being on trial for her murder has alleged that she was a siren. So our main character is really scared because in this world, being a siren is something to be feared. It is, a, it is exclusively um, creature status that has been um, occupied by black women. So, you know, the book talks about how that has made it a less valuable um, thing and less protected 
and sirens are seen as angry and aggressive, um, e even if that is unwarranted. So um, I'm really liking it so far. I love mermaids and myths, and there are other mythical creatures that are represented here, and they don't have the negative reputation of sirens in this world. So um, I just watched Onward a couple days ago, and it kind of reminds me of that for no reason. Like, I just now thought of it. Um, because you know how in that movie, which is a cartoon, you should see it, um, there's like elves and centaurs and stuff, but nobody really thinks about it. Um, so it kind of reminds me of that. Um, it's about the time of day where I say, oh, maybe I'll go to bed early. Um, but then I don't because I don't. I'm not an early to bed person. I know that I have a lot of notebooks. I have a monthly subscription box that gives me notebooks and pens and stuff. So I have a lot of notebooks. I buy them all the time. But the one that I was using to keep track of like tag questions I wanted to do and posts and stuff for my YouTube channel is missing. And so I'm trying to decide, do I want to just call it quits? It's been missing for at least a week, actually longer since I got back from Georgia. Um, do I just want to cut my losses? If I do, then this is the one I'm going to switch to. It's also a large size one, um, which I love. It's bookish in theme. I also really love this like wallpaper on the back of it. Um, so maybe I would have wanted to switch anyway, but I'm frustrated that I lost my notebook. I'll also put in some video. I went over the weekend, um, maybe it was on Sunday, to the sunflower um, field and took some pictures. So I'll add some of that in there too. And yesterday was my first trip back to the library since it opened back up for browsing. And so I loved being back in the library and checking out what Caitlin, our teen librarian, is doing with the space these days all right so seven minutes and 50 seconds into my very first vlog and i'm not sure what i think about it yet <laughs> so i will update you tomorrow decided I need to use this new notebook, but this cover has got to go.
here's what it looks like after this part. I did end up adding a little bit of paint and I did the back with stickers instead of this way. Hey, so it is now Sunday, August 30th, and the book I was reading this week in print is A Song Below Water. And I really enjoyed it. Um, I would probably say it's at least a four stars. Um, so I did finish the book. I'm also outside. As long as the sun stays behind these beautiful clouds, it feels really comfortable out here. So I'm hoping that it does that the whole time <laughs> that I'm out here. Um, so uh, the two main characters are black um, teen girls in a world a lot like ours but that there are creatures that are real and sort of live among among everyone. And if I were like a mythical creature of any kind, the last thing in the world I would be doing is going to high school. But that's just, that's just how this world is. In the world where they're living, there are also lots of protests related to um, police brutality and, um, in particular, a Say Her Name movement. So our one character is a siren, a creature that people fear. And a famous YouTuber comes out as a siren after the, the likely murder of another woman prompts people to start calling that woman a siren or saying that it was okay that she was murdered because she was a siren. So there's a lot of that kind of thing going on in this book. Our second main character, the, it's told in two points of view. So that is um, Tavia. And Effie is um, dealing with these changes that are happening in her body that she doesn't really understand. She's never known her father. So we've got a little bit of that kind of like, what am I becoming? Who was my parent trope happening? Um, and they are best friends. They are sister friends and have been really close. And the book is basically them discovering um, things about themselves and each other together. And um, it was, it was like I said, it was good. I really enjoyed it. Um, one of the things that is curious about the end is that this, it's not unique to this book, but one of the things that I notice about books a lot is you create this world that's very similar to ours or, um, you know, it's really based on similar things we've experienced, I guess. And then when it wraps up, it feels like the wrapping up doesn't feel consistent with how we're expected to believe the world functions. So I noticed that in this book uh, where I'm curious about um, what happens next, particularly in Tavia's story, um, as she comes, I won't even, <laughs> as she comes face to face with some of her fears, um, and then the book is almost over. So I liked it, and I would recommend it. I'm still really glad I read it, um, and if you've read this book, drop your comments down below. You can see the sun keeps coming in and out. I'm probably gonna have to re-record this. Um, and I'm not sure if you can hear me, so we'll see what happens with recording outside. <sighs> so this was my vlog attempt number one. Let me know what you think. See you next time.